My name's Ian Ball, I'm a commercial beekeeper up in the Swan Hill area. Um, I've been, had my own apiary now for probably the last, probably six years. Um, before that I've worked with my father, who spent all his life as an apiarist. Um, and then he worked with his father, so I'm basically third generation beekeeper. I became a beekeeper primarily because I just prefer to be working on my own. I always sort of have in my own business. Um, I enjoy being out in the country, out in the bush, and yeah, I always had that knowledge that had been basically handed down from my father and my grandfather, and that's probably why I became a beekeeper. Favourite part? Well, apart from being out in the bush, I love that, but my favourite part with beekeeping would be rearing my own queens. You're more or less altering nature a little bit to produce something which probably wouldn't have normally been produced had nature followed its, its own line. But um, yeah, definitely queen rearing would be my favourite part. Wobbly red, quite a few hundred queens myself and I'm um, currently running a few hundred hives. Well, the local surroundings that bees would predominantly thrive in around here would be your river red gums, so along the Murray, along your creeks and that, and then that's followed by your black box usually. Uh, from there, in this area, we can go out into the Mallee country. Um, that seems to be quite good in years where it's not in total drought, which it has been, but yeah, generally your red gums um, and then into your Mallee country. It's probably more of what's needed for nature to thrive. And when nature thrives, then the bee bees will thrive. And that is, you know, if we can get decent rains, then trees will set bud and flower and, you know, whatever time period they're going to flower in. But yeah, it mainly comes back to nature. If, if nature's healthy, then the bees will be healthy. So long as they've got a water source and so long as they've got some form of shade source for really hot weather. Um, again, even if you had timber hives, you still wouldn't want them in direct sunlight on a 45 degree day, put it that way. Um, but yeah, as far as bees handling the summer heat, you've got to have water, water close to them. When I first got into my own apiary, I trialled about 20 odd plastic hives. I wanted to know myself if they'd work before I went into it full on. Um, so I did that for a couple of years, kept bees in them, monitored them, and they were fine, absolutely fine. Um, so that was why I got into using all plastic beehives. There's absolutely no maintenance that you have to do at all with these hives, um, put them together is a, a matter of minutes. Um, yeah, whereas you don't have to repaint, you don't have to um, nail anything, it's just screw, drill and screw, and that's it. So yeah, as far as maintenance goes, there's just that's not an issue with these hives. Busy busy working. Um, it sounds funny, but that's true. Now, basically, yeah, if you can keep them on different honey flows and good conditions, then that's what bees love. I can ring up if, I've, if I need something urgent and they'll do their utmost to get that product ready for me. Um, yeah, they're, they're really approachable if I've got any other questions or anything else that I want or need, then yeah, they're freely open to, to communication. They're robust, strong, and the bees seem to thrive in them, so I've had no negative effects with them, so yeah, 
I do like to use them. Researching everything and talking. You know, if you can find an older beekeeper to talk to, listen to them. Um, but also, in saying that, don't be afraid to try new things. 